Hey guys, this is Mel, and I'm here to talk about Arrow, episode 514, titled The Sin Eater, which premiered Wednesday, February 22nd, 2017, on The CW. So guys, quick reminders, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the episode, go, go watch that first before you come back and see what I have to say about the episode. As well, my other video reminders are up on screen, so I have a quick read about that. Um, otherwise, um, let's get right into the 10 minute clock and let's begin with what happened in this episode. So this episode, I'm not really sure timeline wise how much time has passed. Um, but it seems to be enough for, um, um, uh, Dina Drake to have gone through, um, the whole paperwork or whatever's needed to be done in order for her to get, um, um, instated as, or to be, um, um, declared an officer of the, um, the Starling City, uh, the Star City Police Department. Don't know how long that process happens, but in the previous episode at the very end, she had announced that she had um, enlisted or, or recruited herself or however you want to call it into the police uh, force. And then now she's getting her badge and being an unofficial member um, of the SCPD. So however long that timeline usually takes. Episode reminder though is pretty much the actions have consequences in the biggest of forms and many different ways it um, shows that. Um, episode breakdown though kind of deals with three different ones I got prison breakout wanted for murder and um, accusations of another kind so first one deals with the prison breakout so we see the return of China White uh, Cupid and uh, aka um, Carrie Cutter um, and uh, Liza Warner they escape from Iron Heights and they head back to Star City they go after um, Tobias Church's money Apparently, he had roughly a million dollars stashed away, and they go for that. Eventually, they get captured by the ACU, um, assisting the um, the Arrow team. So, there's that. Storyline number two, um, Wanted for Murder, is the Green Arrow is being wanted for Detective uh, Malone's death after getting a tip from Opal City about um, evidence showing that the Green Arrow had uh, killed um, um, uh, Billy Malone. Uh, now, Opal City is the home of or is the city where Prometheus's mom, Amanda Westfield, um, um, resides in. And she's very determined not to help anyone find her son who is grieving and um, dealing with... She doesn't want her son to be caged up like an animal, um, even though he's acting the same way as the man who killed his father was, which is Justin Claiborne. Um, so we still don't have a name for um, uh, Prometheus. Um, so there is that. Um, second storyline, or third storyline, has to deal with accusations of another kind, and that is in the form of Susan Williams accusing Oliver of being the Green Arrow. Because of this, um, Thea orchestrates Susan to be discredited, which leads her to actually getting fired instead um, after finding out that um, Susan had a whole bunch of files linking Oliver to um, uh, not only being the Green Arrow, but being in um, Russia and being part of the Bratva in a time where he wasn't supposed to be anywhere but on the island. So there's that. Flashbacks, though, deal with Oliver protecting Anatoly from Gregor's men who want to see him dead. Um, so there's that. Last moments of the episode show City Hall's scandals hitting the news, uh, which is the scandal of Oliver's administration covering up the true um, um, case or the true um, case behind who Detective Malone's killer is. Um, so that is going to send an uproar in the city. Tidbits, though, is something that I thought was pretty cool, and that is the fact that Oliver, in his suit, he actually has a little screen in his glove that actually um, shows him video, video, well, video footage um, that Felicity hooks him up to. Um, so it's pretty cool. I guess you can kind of say it's this roughly the same size as the old iPod video or... Yeah, the iPod video um, players that we used to have back uh, a few years ago. So it kind of reminded me of that. So there's that. Moving on, though, the most shocking moment of the episode. I think I have to say the whole police cover-up was leaked to the media. And that's a huge scandal in the, um, the mayor's office. I truly thought that it was going to be the news that Oliver was being accused of being the Green Arrow. Um, just because... Um, of the whole Susan having all this um, evidence and how she was discredited. She might have just leaked it to one of those um, cyber um, journalists. Just get it out there so that it's out there and not through like actual real um, journalistic um, sources type of thing. But um, yeah, there's that. 
Moving on, though, top three favorite moments. I have to say the first one has to be Thea and Felicity protecting Oliver against Susan. I really like that Thea did what needed to be done to um, protect Oliver. Didn't really think it would get to her, uh, Susan, being fired. But I like that Thea um, took care of what needed to be done, even after she even checked for herself just how much Susan knew and she knew that this was not good and she even told Oliver that even if she had told him they would still be having this conversation where Oliver says that she was defending Susan and saying that she never would expose him if it if that turned out to be the case and just um, Thea not believing that so it was just great to see Thea and Felicity um, doing what needed to be done to take care of Oliver, even though it was at the expense of Susan, which I don't mind since I don't like Susan to begin with. So there's that. Um, second favorite moment was between um, Quentin Lance and Thea. It was in the office and it's where Thea is telling um, Quentin to not take other people's blame onto his own, not to be a sin eater as it were. And they can't, you can't just, um, People can't use you as excuse, or you can't use other people's excuse to justify your own um, your own actions. And then he repeats it to Liza Warner later on, and it's kind of repeated to Oliver um, as advice from Lance. So I really just like the scene between the two. I like that Lance acknowledged the fact that Thea has gotten wise in her years of misfortune, I guess you can say. But it really shows them the great maturity that she's... Um, held for herself so there's that third favorite moment i have to say is the fact that tina or dina drake um the new black canary um she gets a mask even though she's not ready to take that black canary code name but i just find it a little weird on the fact that it takes her three episodes to get a mask to cover her face and however long three episodes equates to for the arrow team and yet it took diggle two years to get his helmet in season three I mean, how is that any fair whatsoever? Um, but, yeah, I guess you can kind of tie that to a peeve, but it's just something I want to remark on, which is, let's move on to my top three peeve moments. And I do have a lot, and it really focuses on Oliver. Oliver was just not doing it for me in this episode. There's a lot of things I just did not like how he was doing it, and it was just based off of his reactions to what the situation was. First off was the fact that Oliver was just pissed off at Felicity for hacking into Susan's laptop. I mean, did he seriously miss when Susan was telling her, telling him all the stuff that she had on him, photos and stuff, and how she said she pretty much can't go public with her research on Oliver being part of his, a uh, part of the Bratva. She can't go and expose this to the public now because she's been thoroughly discredited. Did he seriously miss that sentence? That sentence, that sentence totally implies the fact that. She was going to plan to expose Oliver's connection to the Bratva. She was going to expose the fact that he was the Green Arrow. It didn't matter if they were in a relationship or not. She was going to, she was going to expose Oliver's secret. And it seems like he just totally missed that and just went on to being pissed at Felicity for hacking her computer. It's like, no, Oliver, this is a woman who is looking out for you, who has continuously looked after you despite your better judgment. And when it comes to women in your romantic relationships, you have no freaking clue what you're doing, especially if they're outside the arrow team. So it's like, no, I hated it. It's like Felicity was doing something to protect you. Instead of getting a thank you, you yell at her. It's just like, no, I did not appreciate that whatsoever. Second thing was the fact that Oliver was being a hypocrite towards Thea and her decision to do what she needed to do to protect Oliver from Susan's um, Susan's expose, I guess you could say. Um, the fact that he was saying, um, he was going on about how uh, Thea made the decision to ruin um, Susan's life in a way that it had um, major repercussions afterward. Because now that she's discredited, it's going to be really hard, if not impossible, for Susan to find a job in journalism that's going to affect her in many different ways. And then Oliver just looks at her saying, like, um, who does that? And I'm thinking when I'm looking at that, it's like, are you freaking kidding me? I mean, as the arrow, as the green arrow, as the hood even, you made decisions that put people in positions where their life is falling apart. You, yes, you kill criminals and it affects people, like it's, it saves 
people in the city, but it also affects people in the bad way as well. Their families, um, their loved ones, uh, anyone who had a connection to them. Um, any of the ones he killed as the hood, all of his victims, he changed the lives of the people in those victims' lives. So it's pretty much, it was just so hypocritical of Oliver to um, reprimand Thea for her actions against Susan when as the vigilante, Oliver's kind of made the, the same sort of decisions every single time. So it's just, I felt a very hypocritical vibe from him. So that was another peeve um, of him. Another peeve was the fact that Oliver was parroting, Oliver as the Green Arrow was parroting back what he said as the mayor to Captain Pike. I mean, the fact that he said that as mayor, he said that, well, the Green Arrow is gonna have to live with what he did to detect him alone for the rest of his life. Later on, as Green Arrow, he says, I'm going to have to live with that for the rest of my life. And Captain Pike says, funny, that's what the mayor said. I'm like, are you kidding me? Do you, are you trying to leave clues for him to find out and realize that the mayor is the Green Arrow? I mean, are you making it any more obvious? It's like, that really pissed me off. It's like, after so many years, it's like, Oliver... You're already having two people in one episode and pretty much the same day for you almost come really close to the fact that they know your secret identity. Susan pretty much accused you in front of your face. Thankfully, you were you knew to lie about it. But then you have Captain like now suspecting that maybe there's more there than it's like, no, you don't need to do that. It's just it was so annoying to have that happen. I was just like, I'm done. I'm done with it. It's just like, Oliver, this is not one of your best episodes. It came to the point where I was liking flashback Oliver a lot more better than how present day Oliver was acting. It's just like, no, 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 no. It kind of, yeah, no. Anyways, what will I remember most when I look back on this episode? The three familiar faces with China White, Carrie Cutter, and Liza Warner. I was a little disappointed we didn't get much of China White. Didn't really get much action with her. She was more like a, she more, she acted more like a thug to um, to Liza. So that was a little disappointing. So I really liked China White in season one. Um, so um, there was that. But it was just great to see familiar faces um, back. Uh, moving on. Don't have any random questions. So let's skip right into the predictions though. Based off the promo for five fifteen, it looks like there is a fight. There's going to be a fight for Oliver to stay in office. Otherwise, Prometheus wins if he loses um, his seat as mayor. It also looks like Vigilante targets Oliver for his corruption scandal. So there's that. Based off the synopsis, though, for the episode, it reads that Oliver faces his biggest challenge yet as mayor. Felicity continues down her dark path with Helix. And after Vigilante attacks Oliver while he's acting as the mayor, Diggle leads the team in a mission to stop Vigilante once and for all. Hopefully, with that being said, they're going to reveal who Vigilante actually is. And I'm still going with my prediction on the fact that Adrian Chase is Vigilante. I haven't been shown anything that proves otherwise. So I'm still sticking with that prediction. And I also want to state that my prediction, my my consistent prediction about Susan Williams betraying Oliver, it, well, it got derailed in the fact that she wasn't able to actually out his secret. But... I was right about her plans to expose his secrets about him being in the Bratva, about him being the Green Arrow. All She was going to do all that despite being in a relationship with him. So I was still right about that. So there's that. And hopefully the fact that she's not returning his calls means we're not going to see Susan Williams again. I'll be happy about that. I don't like her. So there is that. That's all I have to say about the episode. What did you guys think of the episode? What did you guys like about it? What do you think is going to happen next? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your own thoughts, theories, predictions about what you had, especially about this episode or what you think is to come. This episode just, no, it left me frustrated. So it left me frustrated in the fact that usually Oliver has some, Oliver's usually one of my favorites in the moments, in the top three favorite moments. And this time he triumphs in the peeves and that's just it's not okay that should not be happening for the lead protagonist of a show so there's that anyways 
Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and check my other videos if you haven't done so already. If you want, check out my Tumblr page. The link for that is down below. I read blog promos, web clips, quotes, gifs, gifs, synopses, news, all that good stuff, all found in one place. So go check me out down below. Follow me there if you like to have all that stuff. Um, it's also my WordPress that's connected to all of that, so you can follow me there. It's a little more organized, yet it's a work in progress, so go check me out there. And... I believe that is it. Yes, that is it. Um, so thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you come back next week to see what to say about the next episode. Hopefully Oliver doesn't piss me off. Um, but until then, guys, this is Mel. Wish you all a great day, great week, wherever you are. Bye for now.